Hello and welcome to this series of videos. This series of videos will be uh, the first in a series of videos that act as our development uh, blog, development blog posts. Uh, the blog for our game Seven Cities of Gold. But in effect, it also acts as a series of tutorials to create an adventure game with the Godot engine in combination with the Escoria framework. And it does so in the context of 2023, where maybe some of the material, you, material you've come across has become slightly obsolete. So as you know, the Godot engine is an open source, open source uh, engine, a bit like Unity, to make video games. And Escoria is a framework or code base or middleware, whatever you want to call it, that goes on top of Godot. So let's see how to start. In this first, first video, we focus strictly on getting Godot and uh, making the Escoria demo game run. So to do so, uh, downloading Godot is super easy. You just type download Godot in your favorite uh, search engine and then you have the download page. So a quick explanation, you have two versions. The one that supports C Sharp and the one that does not support C Sharp and instead only supports Godot's uh, native scripting language. So if you're uh, if you like uh, strictly type languages uh, like I do, uh, you might be tempted to get the C sharp version. Unfortunately, uh, Escoria is entirely written in GD script, so it would be a bit counterproductive to try to work on C sharp on top of that. So instead, you're going to have to focus on the regular version of Godot. And of course, nowadays, uh, if you can, uh, go straight for the 64 bit version, otherwise, just go for the 32-bit version. So just click on download and then you will get a zip containing the the, the Godot engine and then uh, all you have to do is run it from wherever folder you've put it. So obviously put it in a bit of a permanent folder if you plan on using it all the time and then just run it. So the first thing you see is a window asking you if you want to get something from the asset library. So normally it would show you the current ongoing projects that you have. But even before that, it asks you, do you want something from the asset library? And that's perfect because yes, we would like Escoria, which does come from the asset library. So you click there, but you will see that there is a trick. Uh, if you've seen tutorials on the internet, they might have told you to type Escoria in there, and then you will get the plugin that corresponds to Escoria or some of its assets. And here we see that uh, we have no results. And why is that? It's because now Godot is in, in its version 3.5.1. And if we actually go to the online list of assets that are available for Godot, we see that by typing Escoria in the search bar and looking at all the Escoria assets, we see that they are targeting version 3.3. .3. So they are a bit obsolete here and it's no big deal. And why is that? It's because actually we don't want to use those assets. They have run a bit old and Escoria, being a very young piece of so software, is in uh, all the time in development. So it's in development as we speak. There is commits uh, every week. So you should instead get it from GitHub directly from the source. The GitHub is the website where they host the source code of Escoria. So just go to Google or your favorite search engine and type GitHub Escoria or at Godot if you're not sure of the results. And then go straight for the demo game. So if you've never seen uh, the GitHub website, you might not really understand what you see, but just go there, code, and then download the demo game as a zip. So now you have it in your download folder, you can unzip it with your favorite tool. And now we have a, a folder containing the, the demo game. So let's go back to Godot, close the asset library, or close, uh, yeah, go to the list of ongoing projects and ask Godot to look for our uh, for the demo game that we just downloaded. Uh, so there it is, and you will see you have project.godot. So I open it, import and edit. 
you have the splash from Escoria, it's a good sign. Um, so since the loading is a bit asynchronous, sometimes you have warnings uh, about things that are actually being downloaded or uh, imported. So let's just wait a little bit. So I agree that uh, maybe something is missing, but let's actually, to be entirely sure that everything is loaded properly, let's close it. Let's close Godot and let's reopen it. And now you see that the Escoria demo game is in my list of ongoing projects and I can just double click to reopen it. That's great. So now let's look at what we have in the resources. We have the game folder and the add-ons folder. So like everything in, uh, in Godot, the add-ons are some plugins that we might have downloaded from the asset library and we see them here in the list of plugins and we see that we have all the Escoria shebang the core which is the really the the piece of software Escoria software without nothing could work in Escoria and then we have some optional or at least customizable bits of code uh, simple dialogues for dialogues between characters or you're the main character with other characters and we have several uh, UI models. Uh, so the demo game, as you can see, this one is ticked because the demo game of Escoria uses the simple mouse UI. But you could totally untick that one and tick the nine verbs. We're going to do that in the future. So now that we know that we have this, I'm closing it. And I look in the add-ons folder and I see exactly the same thing. I see that all those add-ons that normally we would download using the assets library are here. And this is the actual demo game that's built on top of all that. So uh, we can just run it. So as you know, in Godot, in the top right corner, you can just click play, which starts the, the whole game. Or you can uh, click open a specific scene and play that specific scene. And in Escoria, we can do that. Like each room works as a standalone scene that we could run using this button. It's very convenient when you try to debug a specific scene. But let's just run the, the game in general. So, this is the standard Windows window for the... for the firewall, but I, I don't want to type my <laughs> admin password right now. Uh, so there you go, the Escoria demo game has run, uh, we saw the splash screen, we saw the little animation with the logo, and we can click new game, and the demo game is, demo game is running. So. In the next episode, I will show you how to start doing the basic customization that you might always want to do when you start working with Escoria for your own game. So thank you for watching and see you next time.